What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the franchise. This is episode three of our San Jose Sharks franchise. And um, up on the screen, as you can see right here, we made a trade with our division, pretty much rivals, the Anaheim Ducks, bringing in Hayden Flurry with some uh, late round picks that weren't really ours and a prospect that was kind of in our AHL team. Uh, we kept having, we had a bunch of defenders get hurt, so I wanted to bring in another guy, Hayden Fleury. He can play both left and right D. He's got medium elite potential. We are going to have to re-sign him after this year, but I think he'll be a pretty good addition to our team. But I just wanted to show you guys that so you weren't caught off guard. So let's go ahead and now let's get into the gameplay. Let me just do this. And hopefully, you guys should be able to see the gameplay now. Let me just go ahead and check real quick. Yep. All right, cool. So, let's go ahead. So, we're playing the Columbus Blue Jackets. They are 17-3-2. We are 14-9-1 with Thomas Hurdle leading our team in points. He's a little over a point per game right now. And we are third in our division behind the Flames and Ducks. So, hopefully, I kind of want to... I'm going to sim off camera, and then I hope to play... Like, last episode we played the Jets as they're on the West Coast, so we're going to play Columbus in the East this year, or this episode. Next time it'll be West, then East, kind of flip-flop back and forth. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this away game. So last game was a home game. This is going to be an away game. So we're going to head and see our white jerseys. We'll keep them in their homes. And uh, they're, they're a much better team than we are. They've got better defense and goalie. And we are tied in offense. So uh, we'll just have to uh, see how this goes. And then, um, yeah. So hopefully we can uh, get a win. If we if we catch this win, we should we should tie for first place. Maybe we can uh, take take second or, or even take first and uh, kind of sustain that lead. I don't know if we'll be a playoff team. It really just depends on how, how many people we can keep healthy and whatnot. Um, but we'll see. All right, here in Nationwide Arena, taking on the 17-3-2 Patrick Laine-led Columbus Blue Jackets. Here we go. Looks like uh, Marshashenko is going to get some uh, first-line minutes tonight, so we'll see how well he does. Oh my goodness, blocked by our own guy. Throw this into the middle of the hurdle, up to Marchachenko. Oh no. There we go! Give it up! Oh, what are you doing? Try and get some cycle going. Oh, that. There we go. Rebound Kevin LeBanc. That's his ninth goal on the season from the uh, right faceoff dot there. Pretty good shot, too. I thought thought Hoffman scored that for a second, but uh, went bar down. Went out. But uh, Kevin LeBanc picks up, uh, picks up the, uh, the rebound. Go ahead, we're throwing the second line of Hoffman, Coyle, and LeBanc out with Ferraro and I think Flurry. Ferraro walks and scores. That's his third goal of the season. A pair of goals. There we go. Heard it here first. I think that's Flurry. Yep. So Flurry's going to wear number 50 for us. We got 14 minutes left in the first. Good block by Flurry. Really surprised that's not a penalty. Kevin LeBanc may have his second of the game here. Hit him with a toe drag. Boom. Second goal in the game. Tenth of the season for Kevin LeBanc. There we go. May have ourselves a uh, hat trick here, boys. Never know. Just have to see. Jones. Columbus has it against the half wall. Couldn't complete the pass. 
Timo Myers got Renski turned around. Backhand. Aw. Ouch. Let's go ahead and send the fourth line in. Seven days a week. Hear that? Dude, that was an awful pass. That was also an awful pass. There we go! Dude, we had them spread apart. First goal of the season for a Simic there. About 20 games in it. Well... About 30 games into the season, really. There we go. Fourth line coming up clutch like they always do. Absolutely sandwiched on the boards. Balser's wide. Cross. Donato shoves it in. Five nothing. It's too easy. They're just giving us a lot of shots. Like, they're not exactly playing very good defense. First line's back out there. Why did he call him? <laughs> <coughs> that was hilarious. That was an awful shot. Dude, Hurdle, get out of the way. My lord. Good stuff, Mike Smith. Sit down, Jack Roslovic. Let's go, Landeskog. I'm surprised he's not leading us in points. We'll have to see what the uh, stats look like after this game. We got about a minute left in the first period. Pointless streak. Uh oh. Quinn Hughes not looking too good. We bite early on the faceoff, but we get the poke check from Seth Jones. What's in this point streak, Hughes? Ah, oh, he's absolutely robbed by Merz Lincolns. There we go. Almost, almost had a uh, contested shot there with Quinn Hughes, but it was stopped. Oh well. Still up five nothing. Absolutely putting a clinic on the Columbus Blue Jackets. So we will have to see. Uh oh, there we go. Uh oh, that's not good. Tried to turn around before I even had the puck. Here we go, Marchachenko. Up the sidelines. Oh my goodness, dude. Ms. Lincolns is not letting Hughes score. He's just not. I 
think I'm gonna move that back. That was, what was that? There you go. They are in first place. Offsides. There we go. I'm gonna throw the second defensive pairing out there. Hoffman, take this seam. Backhand, forehand, or sorry, forehand, then backhand. Nine goals on the season for Mike Hoffman. There we go. <laughs> that is Mike Hoffman's ninth goal of the season. That's kind of surprising. I thought he would have had more by now. At least like 12. Oh well. Oh, there we go. Good poke check. Get that Charlie Coyle. Aw. Go back and get that, Flurry. That's a pretty good shot. Um, after this game, we'll see how uh, Boston's doing, see what their first-round pick's looking like. Oh, Dino! Oh. Boom, Gavril, five goal on the season, or fifth goal on the season from a pretty nasty angle, to be completely honest. We are up seven to nothing on the Columbus Blue Jackets at home. Can't catch anything but a cold. That's unfortunate. I don't know what the coach is doing with the lines though, because Deneau should not be playing center or should not be playing winger as our best center. He also does not really have the speed to be a winger. Pretty good stick lift. Going for a big hit. Oh my goodness. Okay, I wanted to just give that to Quinn Hughes, but... Nieto, breakaway. Can't make it happen. About two minutes left in the, th in the second period, sorry. Uh-oh. 
There we go. Good stuff, Quinn Hughes. Oh. Yeah, seven seconds left. They get a goal. That's unfortunate. Oh well. That'll take us to the third period. Score seven to one. I think we'll kick the uh, difficulty up after this game. It's getting a little too too easy. Dude, Hurdle almost got that puck. Get that out of here, Seth Jones. Oh my goodness. Oh, I thought Marchesenko had the puck. We're going after him. You're not hitting the rookie like that. Boom. Dropped Zach Wierenski. Dropped. We're going to throw our first lines up there. There we go. Ah. Here's a short pass to Atkinson. Good move, Quinn Hughes. San Jose's got possession. Up to LeBanc. Stick lift. Good stuff, he kept it. Not who I wanted to give it to. Why does Seth Jones have the puck so much? Quick pass to Jenner. There's a hit on the Rocked. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Oh, I like the way he's hanging on to this thing. He's got two goals already. Oh, whoops. He gets a chance. Here might be number three. Can't connect on the pass. Scooped up along the wall by LeBanc. Here's a howitzer at the net. And he denied that opportunity. Good technique as the puck is over to the corner out of the way. Trapper save. Texier's lugging the puck. Now, Texier may not be somebody bad to trade for. And it takes a shot. Wide of the net. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. And that's a great defensive heads up to first. Oh, Dino! Windmill. Ball says backhand shot. There we go. Third goal this season. All right, that's pretty much game. We're just going to sim the rest of it. We're up 8-1 to one anyway. Plus there's some other things I want to look at. While you guys are here, so let's go ahead and do that. I want to look at our point leaders, where Boston is at, and the draft class. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So we do end up... Oh, that's not good. He's just injured till December. Let's go ahead and edit the lines manually. Hit uh, preferred lines. This should be our first line anyway. Actually, that's not true. I want Meyer on the first line. Hoffman over here. Deneau up on the first. That's not true. What about on the second? There we go. We'll do that. OK, 
Okay, so Sorensen really doesn't like anybody. Oh, wait, is that because he plays left wing? What about the... Oh, no. oh well. I think we'll just keep the third line like that. We're going to drop Larson a line. How do... I think it was like this. No, I think... Patron played up. Yeah, there we go. And then, yeah, Flurry plays down. Okay. And then goalies, we still got Mike Smith. And it looks like Aiden Hill is injured. Yep. So... This is the squad as it stands while well, we've got some injuries hitting us. So let's go ahead and look at our point leaders. Um, just to give you guys a good look at that, the stats. We are 15, 9, and 1. Um, so we got Hurdle with 26 points, 9 goals, 17 assists. We have Kevin LeBanc with 10, 15, and 25 Looks like we got Hoffman with 9, 16, and 25. So it's about where I expect Hoffman to be. I would like a little, a couple more goals. But, oh well, this is really alarming down here. Quinn Hughes with 12 points. I would, I, his plus minus is good, but I wish he would have a couple more goals. Flurry's got two goals, not necessarily for us. But... We don't really have a whole lot, like, these are all of our third and fourth line guys and defensemen, so Larson's got five assists, so it's not bad. I think everybody could be doing a little bit better, but it's not bad. Let's go ahead and look at Mike Smith's stats. He's got 14 wins, seven losses. He's got a save percentage of nine, or .919, pretty good. Pretty good goals against average, a lot of shots, so he's given, he's People have scored 52 goals on him, so it's not it's not awful. Um, so Mike Smith's doing pretty good. How much longer he's going to play, I don't know. Um, but we'll just have to see. And then the last thing, or I guess the last two things. Let's go. I don't need to click on this. Go back. We're going to see where Boston is, and then, like, so Boston is... Eighth. They are, looks like they are third to last in the league. So that's pretty good if they can uh, keep that up. Let's go ahead and look at the draft class, kind of see who we would want to get. Obviously, Shane Wright would be pretty huge. Uh, let's look at this guy. He's medium elite. He's got 12 goals. No weaknesses. He's a pretty big, pretty good. He's NHL ready, so that may be a, a really good guy to pick up. Christian Olson. Olson. He plays right D. This may be this may our may be our defenseman of the future to play with uh, Quinn Hughes. But um, we also have Lindros in the in the system. Lambert may not be bad. Look at that flow. Maybe, maybe pick him just because of his hair. So we're gonna add all of these guys to our watch list we'll add these guys definitely not adding him um and then i want to see how our number one pick is doing victor vaughn he's not our number one pick but he is the last number one pick um let's see who got him arizona i think let's just go ahead and search him up yeah Vic actually i'll just search by his last name V A U G H N. Just to narrow it down, put defense and search. See how he's doing, Victor Vaughn. Buffalo, Buffalo got him. Okay, so let's let's see how he's doing. He's got seven points, thirty-two penalty minutes, <laughs> and twenty-two games played. He's a, uh, he's not a. Uh, yeah, so he's got he's not having a bad season. I I'm sure Buffalo would love to keep him out of the penalty box a little bit more, but nothing really you can do about that. So he's not having too bad of a rookie season. Um, but yeah, I think that's where we're gonna leave this episode. So I will hope you guys enjoyed. First of all, uh, if you did, hit the like, 
share, and subscribe button. Send it to a friend that you think may like this, and I will see you guys in episode four. Peace.